Hey everybody, I know I look it's like why is she coming on with her hair half done and like I know I have I, I had these mini twists in for three weeks I usually leave them in for a month but like since my hair has been getting a little longer it's been hard to keep them in long so I'm taking them out now and um but I just got I, I just had had a few things to say while I was doing my hair so I just wanted to come online and talk about it before I lose my train of thought um so I'm just going through a couple of stuff right now I'm not gonna say what because maybe I'll tell you maybe I won't um I the I feel I feel I um I want I want to truly stop feeling sorry my, for myself. I really do, and I'm trying so hard. But, and the reason I, the reason why I'm so happy is because one of, I feel like one of the reasons why I'm so happy I'm happy is because I keep I feel like I keep making goals that are not I feel they they're they're real like I my goal for like for 10 years now has been to move to another country I'm still in America and um I'm still living in America I'm still living at my parent at my parents well now my mom's house cuz my dad left my dad moved out a while ago um um but I'm still living at the house I was brought up with, um, started living when I was two. Um, I'm, I have, I haven't made any plans for myself. Um, I just, I think I'm, I'm, li I want, I wanted to live my life like a movie. Like it was going to happen. Just think on it and it's going to happen. Or I don't know. I mean, because I feel like I'm also a really practical person as well. So I know, like, it's not going to fall out. My, the stuff I want is not going to fall out of the sky. But I feel like I try to work hard to get what I want. I mean, I've graduated high school. I've um, graduated gra I've graduated school, um, college, undergraduate school. Um, I went to Austria um, to do my grad school but I mean things didn't work out so I had to come back so um, and um, but I'm back in grad school now but I still haven't I, 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 I got a TEFL certificate and but I still haven't moved to a country that I want and it's not solely because I'm still technically deciding on what country I want to go in. It's because I just, I don't think I really had a solid plan on what I want to do. It's just go, go there, get, go there, try to get as many documents as you need to go to the other, your, the other country and then just start teaching. I want... I've made a plan for myself, like, for, for, um, and I actually, like, started, like, actually had an epiphany when I was watching Naturally had Naturally Had Jehovah's video on, like, um, moving to another country. Um, she, she's giving herself, like, I think three years, and, like, so then I was like, you know what, maybe I should give myself three years. Um, to to get ready, just get everything ready because I want to take. I I don't know what I want to take with me. I don't know what I want. How, I don't know. I know I I need to have enough money to move, and I think that's one of the re also the reasons I was just so stuck is because I just didn't plan. I didn't plan. I'm good at planning, but I just I don't think I needed to. When you when you when you're doing something like that. I feel like you have to plan ahead more, and I just didn't plan ahead more, and so I think three years is enough. Oh, now I, I did that last year, so I think so now I have two years. So 
I hope that's enough because now because I always told myself I wanted to get a certificate of deposit but I finally just started a certificate of deposit last year I mean that I mean two months ago so but at least but it's a 24 month one so I don't know how much that's and that's going to accumulate but um but um also the thing is I feel like also it's just I need to be more aware that the world is just not is not fair it's not and I, I hate that I have to say that I, I really do because but as I've gotten, I've gone through life, I've noticed, me and my brother, me and my brother, my mom has said that to me and my brother, we love to give people the benefit of the doubt, um, I am more aware of how people are shady, because I've had a little more experience, even though we're a year and a half, but he hasn't, he just hasn't gone to school yet, or have worked that, that long yet, so... He doesn't really have the life experience to like not trust not not trust people but like I I still I I have that more experience but I just I just tr deep down inside even though even if I know they're shady I, I still want to give the people a benefit of the doubt and I think this is one of the reasons why I have the model that the model that people are stupid and they're and what I mean by that is people act stupid see I'm even I'm even saying people act stupid but people the reason the reason why people piss me off is well irks me off is because they just don't a lot of them don't want to change you you want to help them but a lot of them just don't want to change and or and a lot of, or a lot of them do want to change but they just don't want to get off their lazy butt and do the change cuz change is hard and um i know that better than anyone change is hard i've gone through so many stuff i don't know if you've noticed but i talked about how i had to relearn how to walk when i was 7 so I mean, I know what change, how change, I know how changing is, can affect you, and, um, but you just got to do what you have to do to survive. Um, what I don't, what I don't like is that, yeah, the, the main thing is people just, a lot of them just don't want to change because a lot of them don't even don't know that they want to change and a lot of them just think they're nice people and I give and I give them a the benefit of the doubt and I because I don't want to come off as the a-hole I, I detest being seen as an a-hole um but I have to tell myself that the people who seem to be your friends, like your coworkers, I wish I told my, my younger self, like your coworkers are your friends, but at the end of the day, they just love talking smack about you. And they will, and some, and they're just more, and they're just a lot, the reason why you were just your managers and everyone else would just got off scot free. I'm um, just let your employees get off scot free for not working is because they're just a little more charismatic than you. Even if though you do a lot of work, you're just very a very shy person, and um, you just don't stand out. And that's why your, the managers like you more than the people that you hate but I mean I have started to know, started to learn that I have to get out of my shell 
even if I am shy, even if I am, or am an introvert, just or just social anxiety, I have to do this because my mom is not going to be around forever. I want to get out of this house so bad. <laughs> so, and I want to move to another country. So I'm going to have to do everything I can to start speaking up for myself. And the thing I need to learn is that just because you're thinking of yourself, everyone is thinking of themselves at the end of the day. Everyone is thinking of themselves. Everyone is thinking of their loved ones. Well, hopefully everyone's thinking of their loved ones because, again, but there's that iffy, like, everyone thinks they're nice. That's, that's kind of a toxic, I feel like that's kind of a toxic way to look at things because everyone thinks that they're nice, but it's like, in reality, you're not nice. A lot of people don't know that they're not nice because they think what they're doing is good, but it's not. Um, but what, what I said, but to be a good per, you, you try to be a good person. I try to be a good person. I don't tell myself that I am, well, I mean, I don't tell myself I'm an evil person, but I don't tell myself like I'm the best, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I don't tell myself like I'm the greatest person, the greatest nice person in the world because no matter who I meet, I'm going to, I'm going to act, irk them off. I don't know why, just my existence is going to ma not make them like me and that's okay and I, I, I need to tell myself more often. It's not, just because you're thinking of yourself doesn't always mean you're an a-hole. And I want, I hope, if someone sees this, I hope that they get that message. That just because you're thinking of yourself, it sounds good to be, to please everyone because you want everyone to like you. At the end of the day, you want everyone to like you. You just want everyone to like you, and it's it, it's not a bad thing to want people want to help people, want to please people, want to um, be a nice person to everyone. But just at the end of the day, you are you can't you have to think of yourself. It's like um, a car. It's like you the car has to have some the car like can help can get people to certain areas but one day but if if the car is on the road for too long eventually it's going to stop something's going to go wrong with it and the people are going to have to get out of the car and they're going to have to fix it which is you basically you and the car are the same person person at the same in the scenario and so like you're eventually going to have to fix your car to help other so you can get your help get your friend to the other place see what I'm saying because you can't do it you can't do anything you can't help other people when you're already broken because you you can't offer anyone anything when you're already broken and that goes for relationships too. I mean, I eventually want to settle down. I eventually want to find someone. But I know in my heart I've just been broken for a very long time. And it's it's going to be hard to to have a relationship with some with me being very hard with me being broken. And I don't want to put someone through that. Um And I again, what I'm saying is like, so you have to. You putting yourself first doesn't mean you're an a hole. You putting yourself first doesn't mean you're not nice. It's just setting boundaries. And I never, I don't know why, but I've never really thought of it until now. But I mean.
I feel like a lot of people in two years I'm going to be 30 so I feel like a lot of people have realized that a lot of people who who are millennials who are around who are millennials who are around my age um, have, have understood that um, their 20s hasn't been as great as they want it to be because when you're 20 it's when you're finally I'm sorry that's when you're finally out that's you're finally you're technically you're fine I mean technically when you're 18 you're an adult like once you graduate high school you're technically an adult but like but when you're 20 like you can when you're in your 20s you can do a lot I mean you you feel like you can do a lot you you you're you're step you're starting to step into more of an adult role and you feel like you can do anything and but it's okay not to have a filling 20s it's okay and i remember my cousin said that to me a lot of us want to have fulfilling 20s but we're just, it's not always going to turn out the way we want and um yeah that's that's in it in like i didn't really see it as I, I don't know how old i was i think i was 26 when he said that so like i mean i was already in my mid-20s at that point but i was like but i have a few more years in my 20s i can still make it can't i um no because you you just didn't you you want you knew what you wanted but you didn't know how to get it that's that's what i that's that's what i had you knew what you wanted but you didn't you just didn't know how to get it and that's the thing too in college i didn't technically i technically didn't still know what i wanted that much because there were so many new careers that i knew i mean like i didn't even know like when I when I took criminal justice, I didn't know that you could be a blood analyst. I mean, I didn't. I I wanted to do that because it, it it sounded fun because I like had to do a blood, but then I was just like, that's that that's that that requires math and science, and I don't I don't feel like I'm 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 not math and science person. So and like when I got to or like again also in my um when i was in my history classes at college i was like you know what yeah you can be a historian but you can also work for the government as well so that was just like wow because if you know if you know my family a government job is just like you're, you're doing pretty well and if you know my dad's nigerian if you're a doctor or lawyer like make as much money as you can please just make as much money as you can and it's just like um I feel like I, I'm, I'm glad that I want to say I'm glad about some of my experiences but to tell you the truth, I'm j I just don't feel glad about my experiences. I mean, some of my experiences, I'm glad that I've learned, but I just, I feel like sometimes I can wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh, I should have done that differently, because if I did that differently, then this would happen. And, like, I feel like it's okay to do that. Uh, people who want you to get old, to s stop sulking around, say, oh, don't try not do that all the time. It's like, well, well, when you have, when you have um, like anxiety and stuff, it's gonna happen no matter what. Even if you try not to, I mean, it's easier said than done. Don't oh, just don't think about it. It's like, what? That makes no sense. It's in my brain, so eventually I'm going to think about it. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to say is just try not to 
don't the the world is the world is very unfair and a lot of it is unforgiving cuz you you don't know you don't you don't know when you're going to have a second chance it's it's unfair because a lot of the time i can see i've seen people who were terrible people get to the top get good stuff ha get good things having having good things happen to them all the time and they were just terrible people and i would still be like i thought i did everything right cuz th that's another quote i heard i heard like you can do everything right and still fail it's it sounds grim but it's 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 totally true you can do everything right and still fail but that's not my motto that's that's just the saying that's that's just a saying that's true and it's unforgiving because life is unforgiving as well too because it it like you can't you can't go back to the past and fix what what happened it's it's going to stay in the past and that we can't we can't fix it um So, all so it's, it's just like it's not, it's not again, it's not bad thinking about yourself for a time period. It's like, and it's like sometimes you just need to go if you want to fight for yourself. You're gonna sometimes you just have to go hard and fight like you've never fought before because at the end of the day, you're the only person looking out for you. You might think your classmates are looking out for you. You might think your teacher is looking out for you. You might think your doctor is looking out for you. You might think, I don't know, but like at the end of the day, you're not the, you're not, you're, you're the only one looking for you because your classmates, they only know you from school. Um, your teacher, she's getting paid to teach you. Your doctor, same thing. They're getting, they're, they, I mean, yeah, they don't want to get sued for malpractice, but at the end of the day, they're, they can, they're also getting bribed by, um, by drug co companies with, um, they're also getting bribed by drug companies to prescribe drugs to you. They're, they're, they also want to, want you to do, sometimes want you to do, to take, to do some type of test when you don't really need it and um, at the end of the day it's you who's fighting for you at the end of the day um, at the end of the day that's all that matters so again like I said I'm I'm rambling again um, you're fighting for you and it's okay to fight hard for yourself because no one else is going to fight harder for yourself than you because if you don't fight I guarantee you if you don't fight it's going to turn out even worse than it it started before because people then people then are going to start talking and then it's going to get really bad for you and it may even damage your self esteem it may damage your reputation it may damage your relationships around you so you just have to fight it's and it's okay to have boundaries with people that cuz you just don't want them to walk all over you it's it's it it's like when when you hear it you know cuz when this is all what i'm saying is word that sounds easy but you just have to train your i'm i'm starting to train myself over years and years because I remember when I was 21 just doing interviews and I never really, I was very mousious and I, mousious, mou, mousy. And I never really spoke up. And I think that's the reason why a lot of these people didn't hire me. But now I've gotten a little better with my hire, with um, my hiring. Because I know I, I, I with my, in my hiring interviews, because I know now what they're usually going to ask me in hiring interviews and um 
And so, like, you just have to be, you just have to fight for yourself. You have to represent yourself more often because no one else is going to do it for you. Um, I'm, 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 I don't, I hope, I hope people don't think that this video is just like, no, don't trust anyone. People are actually stupid. Like, they're, it's, it's like, no, what I'm saying, when I say people are stupid, it's just, they don't want to listen. A lot of them just don't want to listen. A lot of them just have a hard head and they just don't want to. They don't want to have discussions. They don't want to see. They don't want to see the other side of an argument. They just want. They want to be perfect because it makes them feel like they're everything. And they don't. They are trying to hide from reality. And. Honestly, and also there are people who just um, enable that activity and that's why a lot this is why a lot of people in the world have are fighting because they're just hard-headed and they're and the line people are stupid is applied to that but like no I don't want you to actually believe people are stupid because like because then that will that would be a, I feel like that would be a little that that would turn you off to other people who actually do care about you. I mean, there are seven billion, I guess, seven billion people in this world. So I'm pretty sure there's at least one person that you can trust. But um, yeah. So I mean, it's okay. It's okay to feel to to. It's okay to focus on yourself it's okay to fight for yourself it's okay to say no to other people um because no one else is going to do it for you um and don't listen to people and when you when you're when you when when someone asks you and when you try to confide in someone about like you're feeling sad, don't let someone tell you, oh, well, there are other people in the world who have it much worse than you. It's like, tell them to go um, eat a brick or something because it's just like, that's because that, that, that's, they're invalidating your feelings. I mean, yeah, technically there are people who are most likely worse off than you, but don't but they're they're invalidating your feelings when they say that to you and that that's not cool and um i i i just wanted to say that that i i need to be stronger and um i'm still on my way to being stronger and i'm hope hopefully someone will see this and they will know that I kind of feel the same way you do, kind of, <laughs> a little bit, um, um, I mean, we're not going to have the sa exact same experiences, obviously, because I don't know you and I'm talking to a camera, um, but, um, we have, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have similar struggles and we can't, we need to work on ourselves primarily, not try to fix everything around us because life doesn't want you to fix everything around you it doesn't you can try but you're just going to get burned out and then I don't know what happens then <laughs> um, I, I don't want to think what, ha what happens then but you need to work focus on you and then maybe once you focus on you then maybe things will start changing um, that's all I have to say right now. This was a very long video, but if you've been on my channel before, you know this has been a very long, these are always very long videos. So, um, peace.